it comes to probability testing of a number that time one of the methods that we can use is solve stress and algorithm and solve stress and algorithm requires some prerequisites that we must know before we can understand the solve stress and algorithm so for that we need to know what is legendary number so legendary the legendary symbol so what is this legendary symbol so legendary symbol is basically representation of a upon p okay so such that the value of a and a upon p is in this range either it is 0 or plus 1 or minus 1 it comes out to be 0 when the condition p divides a is satisfied or you can also say that a is congruent to 0 mod p that is p divided by a so this is one condition second condition is plus 1 if a is quadratic residue of module residue modulo p third condition is minus 1 if a is quadratic non residue modulo p where p you can write p, it as p or n is a prime number okay so this is our then if it comes under this this if it satisfies this conditions then it is known as the legendary symbol a upon p is known as the legendary symbol just making this slight change if p was not a prime number if it would have been a composite number we would have called this a upon p this fraction as the jacobi symbol so what exactly is jacobi symbol to know that and for the formal definition of Jac jacobi symbol let's proceed and suppose if a is congruent is not congruent to 0 mod p and p is not a prime number that is p is a composite number usually denoted by n so usually we do not uh, denote it by p anymore we will use the symbol n but the expression remains the same such that n can be broken down into products of distinct prime numbers raised to the power powers if necessary as follows so for example i'll take a uh, say suppose n was equal to 15 so 15 you can write it as 3 raised to 1 into 5 raised to 1 so that is one example where n is your composite number which can be written as powers of distinct prime factors like p p of 1 raised to e of 1 p of 2 raised to e of 2 and so on where p i where i ranges from 1 to k is our distinct primes and e of i is belonging to z z is integer that denotes integer and e of i is, e, is greater than equal to 1 now what we can say is that a of n the fraction a of a by n is equal to it can be written as the product of i is equal to 1 to k of a upon p of i raised to e of i now if this condition is satisfied basically what we are doing is uh, now it, since this is a composite number this 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 symbol a upon n is known as the jacobi symbol this function denotes the products so like how you used to use summation same way you are basically denoting the product so and this one this function is basically all it is a combination of all legendary symbols since p of i is its respective prime factor so it's basically like i can explain over here if you take this as an example so this entire expression over here this now becomes your legendary symbol the pi instead of summation this like how you use summation from 1 to n 1 to n this is basically your summation but now we are using product so we use pi and a so we are making use of pi and you have a upon p of i which is basically your legendary symbols okay so this is what the definition is for jacobi symbols
Thank you.